Isen er helt langt tilbage igen for at leve Lille, 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 lille Videoer for jer Der er derfor i dag, og der er en video om Nine Discs It's just a utility for copying ISOs or image files over to a USB or an SD card Say for your Raspberry Pi or whatever you want to do And in the comments on that video A young man left a comment saying That he can't get nothing in Linux to work So he has to use a Windows thing, okay? Now I do agree with him on some things here But there's an old one that still actually works It may not work for you, and it may not work for some newer distributions, but it does work in some occasions. So I'm going to show you it, okay? Look over to my menu, and it's called a multi-system. Yeah, it looks like a really old school thing, because it is. It is quite old. Now I've got an 8 gig card in here, or USB stick. What we have to do, we have to install a Grub2 to it. So you highlight my stick, which is here, like a cruiser blade, under confirm. Please confirm the installation of Grub2. Okay. Well, it's an update as well, but we won't do that just yet. Still updating it, see, after all these years. Okay, so now it's done it, and we're ready to go. Now, all you do on here is you select an image. Now, I've got some images in downloads. Now, I've had a bit of a clear out, as you can see. Yeah, quite, well, quite a big bit of a clear out. So, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to put this one here, yeah, Task 605. Why not? Let's give it a go. Click OK. It wants my password. And then it goes. Off we go. And it starts copying it over to your stick. It does take a little while, so what I'll do in a second, I'll probably stop the video, because otherwise we'll be here all day. All day. Uh, for a larger distro, or ISO, should I say, it would take around about 90 seconds, 120 seconds, which isn't too bad, really. I'm not sure what the speed of this stick is. The one I was using before was a USB 1. I think these are USB 2. I'm not quite sure. But basically, we just have to wait here until it's finished what it's got to do. And once we've been through that, I'll go through some of the options of the program for you. You can decide whether you want to give it a go or not. Now, it's only for Ubuntu-based distributions. Or I suppose you could get it to run on Debian. I think you still got something over GitHub, so you might be able to get the the uh, tarball and do it yourself. Okay. Grab is updating. We just wait a bit longer. Okay. Yep. Installing stuff. It's still installing stuff. It's copying enough. Actually, it's better than the other stick I had. The last one was really, really slow. I'll tell you. And basically, all you do is wait, and this is how it works. We well, you know it's like copying it over. All depends on the speed of your stuff, doesn't it? At the end of the day. Quick drinkage. Yeah. Mmm. Water. I like it. And we just have to wait. Shall I, shall I stop the video? No, I'm just going to wait. Okay, updating the system, Linux. Done. That's it. It's ready to boot, okay? Now you can put as many ISOs on here as you want, okay? Go to the menu and go to Grub Settings. You can update Grub. Update Berg. Back up and restore. Add a persistence mode. You can do that with Puppy anyway if you're only using it on a single stick, but you can have persistence mode for multiple distributions is good then you can resize your persistence nice download live cds whether that will work anymore i've not tried it because this is quite an old program format usb key use a gparted i've done it beforehand install virtualbox don't bother because it's an old version okay just use the virtual box you got you can update it or uninstall it you can boot from any of these nice and easy you can try and test it in live in Q QEMU or VirtualBox, but don't expect it to work, okay? Just try it on a real machine. It won't break it, I doubt it, but don't quote me on that if anything goes bang, okay? Then you've got some non-free stuff there. You can download Plop for a boot manager if you want to use that. No problem at all if you want to do that. And About. There you go. Easy peasy. People from all over the world doing it. I know, easy. And that's all you have to do. So that's called a multi-system. There is a program called Multi-Boot, which is newer, but it don't work. Okay, you help lets you put them all on there. You had loads of ISOs on there, but it won't boot them at the end of the day. Well, I couldn't get it to boot. But that's just me. Anyway, multi-system. Go and give it a go. Nice. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.